Yes, big up guys, welcome back to the channel. And as we know, Manuel Agati has chose PSG. And, uh, you know, this is an absolute disgrace, guys. An absolute disgrace, yeah? And you know what? I don't even care. You know what? I know the guys can earn 200 grand a week. But you know what? Where's the fucking Chelsea mentality gone? You know? If Pochettino wants this guy as number one DM, you should be going out there and signing him. Yeah? I don't care if he's on 200 grand a week. I actually don't care. We've got cement booted bus stop, bruv, that fucking rat, yeah? On what, 370 grand a week? And we can't give a cigar to kid 200 grand. He looks like it could be a real important role in our team. You know? Where's that mentality? Back the gaffer for fuck's sake, man. I can't be honest with it, guys. I really can't. You know? As much as people are saying, oh, yeah, but the wage is 200 grand. So what, man? It's not our money. You know? And people really think when the players come along, when you've actually got to spend that wage, you know, the Aussie men and that, they ain't going to give them nothing. It's going to be the same thing. You know? How are we going to move on as a club if these like, ain't going to pay wages for fucking big players that's going to change the team? If Pochettino wants this guy as your number one, you go out there and you get him. At all costs. Especially because of the DM, what we've needed for four years. You know, this guy changes our team completely. What happens now if we don't get Lavia? You don't get a DM. Rice goes Arsenal. What happens then? And then you look at it and then maybe it was worth paying 200 grand, 200 grand for a guy, eh, bruv? And then it's worth it. We'll be sitting there with a scrub again, like Sakari or someone like that, bruv. They'll go and panic by it, you know? I can't be arsed with it, guys. I really can't. You know, I saw the news last night. I was sitting there chilling, watching my TV and that. Switch on the phone. See Twitter exploding. What's it about, bruv? Come on. You can't let a deal like this go to bust, bruv. Seriously, man. Oh, my days, bruv. Big up, Mr. Mineral Dina. Smashed the like button to my bro, H Talk Show. So let's go up on his followers. Uh, big up Midster in the chat, bruv. Big up as always. Do what he says, people. Make sure you're smashing that like button. And we just recently hit 100 subscribers. So big up everyone who subscribed, bruv, yeah? Come on, people. Up the Chelsea as always, bruv. Appreciate the love and support, bruv. Come on. Big up Midster. Don't know, post your channel on my Facebook message to my Chelsea friend. Fair play, Midster, bruv. Jamar Jones in the chat. What a big disappointment. Yeah, it is, bruv. Big up yourself first and foremost, bruv, yeah. Jamar Jones, legend of the fucking channel. He's always in here, bruv, supporting, yeah. Big up yourself. It's an absolute joke, bruv, you know? And I'm hearing people on Spaces on Twitter and that say, oh, yeah, like, like I said, but they're giving them 200 grand a week. So what? It's not our money for a start. I don't care about this wage, boy. I couldn't give a toss, man. If a player's going to change the way we play completely and help the new gaffer coming in, you go out and sign that player. Seriously, what is there not to like about a guy? You know? He's young as well. You know, for the next how many years you've got a solid DM there? It's worth the 200 grand a week. That's just how the market is these days. You know? It's a joke, man. It really is a joke. Jamar Jones could say the deal will be difficult. They want 100 million or a swap deal for Colwell for 50 mil. That's the only deal is either pay 100 mil or lose Colwell. This is the thing, bruv, yeah? We're in a sticky situation now. Because for me, you definitely need Casado. If we don't get Casado, bruv, I'm going to fucking lose it, bruv. Yeah? That would be a disgrace. We need Casado and the Rice or a fucking Lavia. One midfielder ain't going to revamp our midfield. Top bowler, you clown, yeah? This fucking owner that everyone thinks is building for the future of Chelsea. This guy couldn't give a shit. I'm sorry, guys. You know? You've seen some of the last videos, yeah? Obviously not the last one I just done because I fucking went on in these fucking wrongings, bruv, yeah? Went in on them, yeah? But I'm trying to be positive. I'm excited for next season. But in this sort of stuff, I've said, they need to get everything right this window. We can't afford to lose out on players like this. We're not in that position as a club. We need a DM. That is the priority. If we end up with another scrub for a DM like a Zakara or a fucking Sayul, one of these signings, bruv. It's a piss take. We're Chelsea. We pay the big wages. Who gives a shit 
As long as they're coming and they can just for a team and we go and fucking win things. And then you earn your money back, so who cares? If your players on wages like that, who cares, man? You know? It's a joke. It's a joke. Big up Alan in the chat, he says big up H Talks, big up, big up, bruv. Come on, you know it's love round here, bruv. Come on. Big up the chat as always. Big up Tony Targa in the chat, proper Chelsea in here, bruv. Big up H Talks, big up the chat, the Chelsea. Come on. It's beyond a joke, guys, it really is. Smash the likes and subscribe to the channel on the road to 150. 100% Alan, bruv. Come on, do what Alan says, people. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Road to 150. It's a disgrace, bruv. It really is. Tony Tiger, I don't believe it's 200k waffle. Maybe he just doesn't fancy the project and was hoping for another Prem club to enter. Do you know what, Tony? I did mention this, bruv, yeah? What if maybe he's looking at Chelsea, bruv? Like, a lot of top players are and seeing the absolute mess we are as a club. Yeah? Why is that not coming into consideration, bruv? You know? It's shocking. I don't know about you guys in the chat. Let me know. But I couldn't care if we gave this guy 200k. Okay, maybe it doesn't... It doesn't look like he deserves it because, you know, he's in a worse league and he hasn't prem proven anything yet and he's still young. But it's worth taking a gamble for. If you're, you know, spending 88 mil on Mudrick and you can't give a DM, yeah? A DM we've needed for three years, at least 150k a week. You're getting rid of Mount, yeah? You're getting rid of Kai. There's his wages. Why is it a big deal, guys? Someone tell me. Why should we accept this shit? Low balling money offers, yeah, for these players. It's a joke. You know? What's these not think they're going to be paying a rice? Or something like that? Or a casino? Do you think they're going to take 80 grand a week? No chance they're going to take that. No chance. They're going round, bruv, in these markets, going for all these youngsters, yeah? Trying to manipulate them, bruv. Because they know a lot of the youngsters will take 80, 70 grand a week, bruv, yeah? But when it comes to real talent you need in your team, yeah? Who are going to improve you now? You need to spend the money on them. I don't care. It's a joke. This is Potts' number one priority signing he wants. And you can't even match PSG still. I know it's 200 grand a week. I don't care. That isn't the point. Look what it gives us in our team. It's a piss take, it really is, guys, you know? It just is, bruv. Big up Metal Face Doom in the chat, it says, big up, come on, bruv. Big up every time. They offered him 10 mil a year, no way we are paying that. Yeah, I know, bruv, it's crazy, bruv, but you can't tell me you can't push up to offer a little bit more, yeah? Just even close to that, because then the Premier League pool will get him here, bruv. And then what are we going to do, guys, yeah? Let's, um, let's say we get Lavia, right? This guy's had a couple of injuries in his time as well, yeah? So that's another thing to be worried about. Our medical team's shit. So can we afford to sign another player who's had a couple of injuries, you know? It's a joke. And even Lavia, you know? Is he going to take some scrubby wage buff when you've got an Arsenal who could be interested in him or someone else that they might offer a bit more? I get it's bad what PSG are offering him, but you can't tell me you can't get close to that offer. Especially when you're getting rid of Kai and Mace, you know? And the amount of players we've got to sell. What's 200 grand a week? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, bruv. It's just not good enough. Tony Targo ain't seen much of a guy. In fact, I've seen him twice and he got sent off in one of them. Yeah, it was against Arsenal, Tony Targo. To be fair, though, in that game, he got sent off against Arsenal. He got fucking sent off, but that was in like the 170th minute, wasn't it? Definitely not worth the 200 bags a week on a 22-year-old. Yeah, but this is the thing, bruv, yeah? You're saying, you know, we're not going to sign above 20, 23, 22-year-olds. So, where'd you go, bruv? You know, the DM we signed, he's going to be 22 or younger, I'm sure of it, or 23 or fucking younger. Because this is these owners' models. Fucking kindergarten FC shit. It's a piss take. Big guy on the chat, they aren't offering him 10 mil a year. It's more like 7.5. They're just blowing us out of the water. That's it. Yeah, bruv. 100%. They're blowing us out of the water, bruv. But it's just, you know, if they if they do not get a DM this summer of a quality, I swear to God, guys, we are in for a long season, yeah? 
a long season. And it's bad signs. As much as I understand the wages, that's just ridiculous, yeah? It's bad signs. Because you're letting Mount go as well. Poch wants to keep Mount. These people everyone believes on Twitter, these journalists, they've stated that. Pochettino was battling, apparently, for Mason Mount. Is that right? Yeah? These owners won't let him battle, bruv. Yeah, they didn't give him no keys. The keys these owners have gave Poch, yeah? A fucking keys for a Nissan Micra when he should be getting a fucking Lamborghini Urus, bruv. Yeah? That's the best way of putting it. It's a beyond a joke. I'm sick of these guys, man. I'm sick of it. And people are so clueless up here, yeah? They think these lot are really going to fucking... They're building for the future. They're not going to sell these youngsters once they get a bit older. I don't trust these owners as far as I can fucking throw them, bruv. No chance you can trust these lot. Melface Doom, I'm pretty sure we'll get a DM. A guy isn't the only one that's in the market. You understand that, bruv? But listen, these owners... <laughs> I can't trust them to get this done, bruv, yeah? And if you get a Lavia, you need a Casado with him. I don't want them thinking they can just sign one midfielder because we don't know for a fact they're going to get more than one midfielder now. We don't know that, you know? As much as people want to say it, on like journalists come out and say it, bruv, you can't trust these lot, you know? You see most of, literally fucking most journals, maybe except for Brits, Joe said, it's completely done, done deal. Is that right, yeah? Is that right? Done deal. And these are the people we're meant to listen to, yeah? Who are saying, oh, yeah, we're going to sign two midfielders. I don't believe that. We might end up with just Casado. We need a midfield revamp, overhaul. The midfield shocking. You know, Enzo, I'll give it him. Brilliant signing. We need more long to go with him. He can't run the midfield on his own. He isn't a DM. You're playing him out of position. These are things that need to get fixed. Otherwise, next season, we're in for a fucking another shit show. <sighs> we aren't getting Casado. I might get Lavia. That's it. I do not trust this ownership. They don't care what the fans think or want. This is the thing, Alan, bro. This is the thing. Do we believe they're going to be able to pull Casado for what? They're going to want 100 million odd for him. Maybe 85 mil. He's going to want a decent wage. So explain to me, guys, if you don't get Casado, what are you left with? Are you just going to sign a Romeo Lavia from Southampton who's just been relegated? Is that what you're calling a midfield revamp? Yeah? All right. We'll see how that gets along, bruv. Because if we just get Lavia in and we miss out Casado, I'm going to fucking lose it. If we do not get Casado, it's a joke. Who do these not think we are? We are not fucking Crystal Palace. We are not Fulham, bruv. Pay the damn money we need to get these top, top players in. And we'll let him off a bit of the guy thing. But how about the other signs, as I said? Mount leaving when Pot so dearly wants to keep him. He's great for his system. Does that not give us worries, a Chelsea fan? You know? This ownership just don't look good for Chelsea. As much as they come out and they can spill all the fucking shit they want out of their mouths, bruv. Yeah? You can't trust these guys until they start winning. Until they win a major trophy with Chelsea. And then I might put some trust in them. I won't be surprised yeah, if Pochettino lasts a season, bruv. Find out there now. The way these owners are moving, bruv. Because Poch does not strike me as a fucking idiot, bruv. He might even walk after the first season, bruv. Who knows? I think we will improve next season. But n not if you fucking... You've got to address the positions that need addressing. Otherwise, forget about it. And that starts with the midfield. The midfield's been a shambles. You win games in midfield. You know? People don't realise how crucial that DM is. If you don't get that DM, the team just falls apart. You need that core, that's fine. You need a solid goalie who can actually catch a ball. And I'm hearing now we're putting bits in for Mike Maitland. Fucking tennis rackets for gloves, bruv. Get Emmy Martinez, he's available. Go get him. Come on. 
I'm sick of it. And God knows who they're going to get a striker. Because if you think you're getting a, a Ossiman or a Vlavic on some 70 grand a week, bruv, you're in fucking cuckoo land, bruv. Seriously. You know? I was quite optimistic about us signing Ossiman. No chance, bruv. I'll say it right now. If that happens, bruv, I'll be absolutely shocked. Absolutely shocked, you know? And as Alan said, bruv, we might not even get Casado, you know? The way these are moving, bruv. Texas Blue 24, beat yourself in the chat, mate. We don't overspend for a we won't overspend for a goal, eh? but we'll go for Casado, who will pull our pants down for everything we've got them from from them. Yeah. Yeah, Brian are gonna pull our pants down proper, bruv. We can end up spending a hundred mil on him if you want him, bruv. I'll be interested to see what the wage package is. You know, that'll be an interesting thing to see. I think every club we've done business with has bent us over backwards. And this is the thing, bruv. Yeah, like you say, Metal Face Doom, yeah, they've bent us over backwards every single club. So, you know, <laughs> these owners think they're going to be penny pinching every player, bruv. You are mistaken, Mr. Bowley and Egg Barley, bruv. You ain't got a clue. Because we're an elite club. They're not going to let you keep buying, you know, youngsters for cheap. It's going to be more like the Enzo deals are talking, that sort of price. So you better be ready to spend your fucking money, bruv. Because we ain't going to get nowhere. We ain't a big club anymore. We used to move like PSG when we had Roman. This is the thing, guys. Why are we letting the standards drop? Us as Chelsea, we normally, whatever door we knock on, bruv, they open, bruv. We're Chelsea. We're taking your play whether you like it or not. Whatever it takes. And that's why Roman Abramovich won it all at Chelsea. Ruthless mentality, bruv. That's what's needed, yeah? Ruthless mentality. And they come out and sign another 16 yards. Oh, great point, Metal Face Doom, bruv. Fucking great point, yeah? That's the thing to be pointed out, yeah? All the Chelsea fans are fuming, getting at the owners, yeah? About the uh, Garter deal. What do they drop, guys? As Metal Face Doom says there, be up yourself in the chat, bruv. Kendry Paez. Oh, we've signed him, bruv. A 16-year-old. Whoopee! Brilliant! Hey! Lovely. Another 16-year-old who can't play for two, three years. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> These don't think we're mugs, bruv. Mugs. We must have mugs written across our fucking foreheads, bruv, yeah? You know, putting out this deal now where we signed a 16-year-old to try and put the fans back on side. They think we're clueless, guys. They think we're clueless. Yeah? Ha, ha, ha. These are funny, these fucking Americans, bruv. Fucking hell! What are they doing to us? They're ripping our soul out, guys, as we speak. Remember, H talks their data rule, what players they want, not what we need as a club to challenge again. It's our nonsense. Yeah, this fucking data. Good point, Alan, bruv. They're running it from data. They couldn't give a shit what Pochettino thinks and what player he wants. They bring in the player and they say, do you like him? And if he says, yeah, I look like the look of him, they'll go and sign him. Even if he didn't even say, you know, he prefers this player. I think they'll still go over the player they want, you know. It's been, it's been put out there that Agate, they've been interested in a guy for a couple of months now. But then I thought the whole agenda was, oh, Pochettino, this is his number one target. No, he just doesn't mind the player that they brought to him. You know? Absolute spill all over Twitter. Absolute crap. Big up CFC OG in here. To be honest, I didn't know a guy, but I do now that them Portuguese league players translate. Well, yeah, they do, bruv. They do. They've got a good strike rate. Tony Tiger, as long as we keep our expectations low, we'll survive. But the pressure on this season's underperforming players is going to be immense next season. Yeah, bruv. I just... Their expectations, the standards, they're gone. They're gone, man. Not for me, you know. The money these are spent, we should be in a Premier League title charge next season. But they sacked our elite manager and Thomas Tuchel. They're bringing fucking Harry Potter... Who got fucking sacked after a couple fucking months, bruv, yeah? Because the, the, the fucking fans started to turn a little bit, leaving 80-odd minutes 
and the games and shit, yeah? Because it's all about the money. All about the fucking what? And not about winning at Hills! When at least I spoke about us winning big trophies. All they speak about is Chelsea Go Ball, because there's money going in their pockets. They're ruining Cobham. Ruining it. You watch when a top, top talent comes out of Cobham again, yeah? A guy who can actually get into the first team. And he gets a little cheeky bid from another club. You know, Manchester United, someone like that. These owners will be lapping it up, bruv. Licking their lips. But people really trust these owners and believe they're here for the good. I believe otherwise until they win a major trophy for us as Chelsea, bruv. You can't trust these guys as far as you can throw them. And that's the facts. You know? Tamar Jones, these idiots, these idiots don't, doesn't want to pay real wages for top players who's coming to Chelsea for 8k a week. Not Casado, not as men. And this is the thing, bruv. If we can't sign a fucking Agati, you think we're going to be able to sign a Casado? Or an Aussie man. Aussie man, you might as well fucking... Oh my god, we're going to end up with... We're going to bring out fucking Darren Bent from fucking retirement. That's who we're going to have up front, bruv. Fucking hell. These lot ain't going to be able to pull an Aussie man. As I said, I was optimistic about him, bruv. After seeing this shambles, and when you think they're getting rid of Mount, and that's who Pochettino wants to keep so dearly. You know, whether you like Mount or not, you can't tell me he's not backing the manager. They ain't backing him, bruv. It's worrying. It really is worrying. And this is what I said, guys. You know what I said on here? This summer window, to have to get everything spot on. We've got no room for error. How the fuck are they paying for Farner 200k a week and Kukuril 190k? Yeah, exactly. What about this then, people, yeah? For telling me, oh, 200k is too much. If they're going to completely change your team, I don't give a toss. Bring them in. You're getting rid of Kai and Mount. There's the money. What's the big deal? I'm hearing James Madison now as well. That's something as well to bring up. James Madison. When you're selling Mount, is Madison levels above Mount? No chance. It's Madison scoring big goals and big games like against Real Madrid, City in the UCL final with that great assist. Madison can't hands it at that level. He looks a good footballer. Technically gifted, I'll give him that. But he ain't going to be the guy to take Chelsea to next fucking levels. No chance. If you're going to buy a fucking young central attacking midfielder, don't get me Jamal Musiala from buying. Bowley and Ed Barley. That's the type of signings. If you're going to sign young talents. Not a Paez who's 16. 16. Do you understand that, guys? This guy ain't going to be playing in the first team for three, four years. And this is who we're meant to be, you know, getting excited about. This is who they put out now. Oh, here we go. We're signing Paez. It's on Chelsea official statement. Paez, woo, 16, yeah, come on. We just lost out on a CDM, is that going to change our team for now? And you're putting this fucking shit out. Clever Bowley, very clever, Nick Barley, bro. But you ain't fucking fooling the real Chelsea fans who ain't living under a rock. You bunch of muppets. Sissio, all these wage demands are ridiculous. There needs to be a cap worldwide. Yeah, there does need to be a cap, bro. It needs to be sorted out. The market's gone, bro. It's fucking finished, you know? Tony Tiger will be lovely at best, and maybe another. We will have to go to Google to learn about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why not looking at Tonali from AC Milan? He's a CDM. He's solid. But this is the thing, j -Mod. These sort of signings are the Kimmiches, the Tonalis. These lot couldn't pull them here, bro. Yeah, they're using the Chelsea name, but these owners have made themselves look like such idiots. Players are now looking at the model and where Chelsea are heading, and they're questioning it. It's worrying. Because under Roman, we could sign any player. I'd love to see these lot try and sign a Rafael Leal or someone of that level, and Aussie men. You're living on a different planet, bruv. 
I don't believe they can pull these signings, bruv. No chance. No chance. If we only get Lavia, a 19 year old who is injury prone, we are no better off than we were last season. And this is the problem. Fuck Texas Blue. This is the issues, bruv, going on. People don't understand. Chelsea, I don't mind, and it's good. I don't know about that one, bruv. You know, I didn't mind him, as I said, I rated him beforehand, yeah, from the start of the season. But as I've started watching him a bit more, Jesus Christ. And his performance against Inter Milan in that semi final. Disgraceful, bruv. This guy's got fucking sandals for fucking hands, bruv. You know, the ball's going straight through him. Fucking A4 sheets of paper, bruv. I don't want this guy. No chance now, bruv. I want Emmy Martinez, bruv, and that's it. The fact people are bantering and celebrating this transfer window is actually mad. It's, it's unreal, bruv. It's unreal. Chelsea, I don't understand why we didn't go for a guy. He was on 13k on a week, and if we got him, he would be earning more than Enzo. Well, I completely get that, but also people don't know with Enzo, his wage actually doubles almost if we get Champions League football. So, you know, <laughs> is what it is. Who they're going to blame next season? No Mount or Kai to blame. Exactly. And then that's when it's going to come full circle. And all these people who are blaming the players, yeah, blaming the players, they're going to come full circle and they're going to start looking at the owners. They already are starting to look at the owners, some of them. But it's too little too late, bruv, yeah? Because these are implementing the model as we speak. We are fucked. Red Light District, Chelsea FC, bruv. Kindergarten FC, what you want, bruv. There's many names, you know. Sleep with one eye open FC. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> Just to add to the list, you know. It's a fucking joke. The Blue Lounge, build up yourself in the chat, mate. Have we become a selling club, investing in youth and selling them at profit? Just the thing, Blue Lounge, bruv. Big up yourself, bruv. I think you're new round here. I ain't seen you in the chat before, but big up yourself. Hope you're doing well, mate, yeah? This the thing. Are we becoming a Dortmund or Leipzig? Because there's no proof that these owners, when Enzo gets a bit older, that when Real Madrid come knocking or someone like that, a Barcelona, they're not going to sell. How do we know that? We cannot trust these guys, you know? We've seen how bad the Americans have been. We've seen the track record in the Premier League for American owners, you know? None of them are good. So, yeah, you make a good point, Blue Lounge, bruv. We might become this selling club, you know? It's sad, man. It's sad. But even over 150k wasn't worth it for a guy. But then it's the thing, Metal Face Doom, yeah? We're not going to go for players higher than a guy. We're not going to go for a rice, yeah? The players are going to be 23 and lower who's going to come in at DM. So, if you're looking at that range from 23 to lower at DMs, a guy is probably the best one. You know? So it is worth it in their eyes, actually, if you think about it, you know, because you're not going to sign a Bryce, you're not going to sign a Tonali, none of these players. So if you're looking from the age of 23 down, let's say, a guy is the best out of the bunch at DM. Maybe join with Lavia. But then I've heard Arsenal interested in Lavia, a few clubs interested in Lavia. They ain't going to offer them no penny pinching wage, bruv. It's worrying. It's worrying, you know? It's a fact, my guy. Yeah, bruv. It is worrying, you know? And many fans still don't believe that these owners are bad for us, you know? I, I, listen, I don't I don't have any words for you lot anymore. I really don't, you know? I don't want to come on here and just think I'm right all the time, but I'm sorry, guys, yeah? I think everyone in the chat can agree with me now. I think a lot of the fan base are starting to wake up, you know? Some of them, at least. I've seen people start flip-flopping now. They're starting to look at owners. Thank fuck. But we need more of that. All you guys, you just share stuff out, what you can do. Have your say online. You don't have to have a platform. You've got a voice. Let it be heard, man. Go on these spaces on Twitter. Tell them. Let them see the truth of what's going on. Because they really are just... Oh, it's so sad to say, man. They're absolutely ruining Chelsea. I just can't see us ever winning a Champions League or Premier League on these owners, you know? It just seems like that's like winning the fucking lottery if that happens, you know? It's mad. 
I tell you what, fucking hell, bruv. If Bowie and Bali win the fucking Premier League or Champions League with Chelsea, bruv, I'm going to buy a fucking lottery ticket straight away, bruv, you know? TT, didn't they come out with another 15-year-old to uh, two day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paez, bruv. Paez. Is he 15? So he's not even 16. This guy's 15 years old. Are we a fucking primary school? What is this? Absolute circus they're running. What a joke. Oh my God, 15 years old and this is the guy they're coming out with saying, oh, whoopee, you should be happy. Fuck off. Honest to God. <laughs> ben, yeah, bro. <laughs> To be fair, if Lukaku and Obo was off the books, there's no reason to splash out for Aussie men. But this is what I'm saying. I know the guy there was nuts, but that's just how the chance market is, people. I'm sorry to say it. It just is what it is. And like Melface Doom says there, if you get rid of Lukaku and a banning off the books, Havertz and Mount, why the fuck can't we go near their offer? I'm sorry. There's no excuse for it. What the owners are trying to do has never been tried for a reason. Anyone who knows even a little bit about football knows uh, a little bit about football knows experience is important as talent. Facts. Facts. Especially when you've got so many youngsters around you. The youngsters need to learn off these experienced players. And they haven't got any experience to learn off. Just about Charlie Silva. And Reese James maybe at a push. But what happens when Reese James leaves people? That's another thing to mention, bruv. Do you really believe if Real Madrid come knocking, bruv, like the rumours have been for Reese James? <laughs> he wouldn't want to leave. As much as he's proper Chelsea, he loves the club. People care about their careers more than about the club. I can assure you that. You know? If he goes to Real Madrid, he knows he'll ball out and he'll win titles, leagues, you know, trophies, Champions Leagues, the lot, bruv, of Real Madrid. Who's going to want to stay at Chelsea? Because Enzo looks pissed off already. Have you seen a state of him when he's playing, bro? He looks fuming. You know? It's embarrassing. And he's sitting there screaming and shouting at Gallagher, telling them to mark Casemiro and shit. He doesn't even track him and it leads to a goal. Why has he got Gallagher with him in his midfield? These sort of players shouldn't be around the likes of Enzo. World Cup winners. World class potential. Gallagher's not good enough for Chelsea. A lot of these players aren't good enough for Chelsea at the club at the minute. You know, we've got to strive for better guys. Big up Mickey, Joy Boy in here, bruv. Proper Chelsea, come on. Like, join, subscribe. Big up H Talks. Big up yourself, mate. Do what he says, people. You haven't hit the like button already. It's crucial, bruv. Get that algorithm flowing, bruv. Put the video out there more. Because this fucking, this needs to be heard, bruv. Around the Chelsea fan base. So make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe, people, yeah? Big up. H talk spitting facts. Come on, Mickey Joy Boy, bruv. You know we don't speak shit round here, bruv, yeah? We learn the truth and that's it. I want what's best for my club. I'm spitting on Bowley. <laughs> that's true. You need to balance youth and experience. Otherwise, look at us this season. Facts, Adam, bruv. Don't get it twisted. Madison... Is no upgrade on Mount by perfect backup for Nkunku. Yeah, if you're talking a backup, no, listen, Melface Doom, I commented on a tweet yeah where they were saying like Madison. I said, look, I wouldn't be mad at the signing, but is he levels above Mount? So we're going backwards. Do you know what I mean? I don't think Madison's a bad player. I actually think he's a very good player. You know, left footed, right footed. But as I said, you may as well keep Mount. I don't understand this stuff, you know? Dog shit on this, bruv. Absolute dog shit. <sighs> I'm just fuming, guys, you know. I just, I have no words for this, this ownership anymore. You know? Disgusting what they've done. The way they've treated Mount. Bowley sitting there liking tweets, taking the piss. You know? They even somehow persuaded Lampard to come in and sign to their shit terms. And that's a club legend. A cult. I never even managed to twist him up like a fucking pretzel, bruv. Yeah, Frank the pretzel, bruv. That's what you are. You fucking wish-washy fucking legend, bruv. Joke. 
We understand hates, but nothing changes with these owners. This is the thing, Mickey Joy, boy, bruv. I can bang on all I want, bruv. And this is the thing, it's getting depressing, bruv. I want to be positive, bruv. You know, I am excited, excited for next season as much as fucking these owners are a joke. You know, because if you're not going to be excited, you're not going to have joy about supporting Chelsea, then you're just going to end up being fucking depressed of yourself, bruv. You know? It's hard sometimes to take the truth, but the truth has to be said, bruv. It is what it is. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to come on here and just talk shit for the sake of it when deep down I'm actually hurting and, I'm, and you know what's going on. You know, I come on here, I'm fucking, the whole reason I set up my platform was to come on and express my thoughts about Chelsea. My thoughts. Not other people, not to copy other people. Yeah. Not to fucking follow the crowd like a lot of these people do. Yeah. I come on here to fucking express what I actually think. And if you don't like it, that's fair enough. You've got a different opinion, I'm all for it, bruv. But if your opinion's fucking this deluded fucking opinion, where it's like, fuck me, you've got to be fucking drunk or something, bruv. If you fucking think these owners are doing stuff right around here, then I, I'm sorry, bruv, but I'll argue with that opinion, bruv. All day. Charles Independent Trading FC <laughs> with special guest Uncle Albert Wiss. Why? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, we are we are 100% a selling club. They barely said it on the video they made. Yeah, that video they put out, you know, that interview and stuff. Disgusting the way they're speaking about it, bruv. Disgusting, you know. And why are they even mentioning Mikko Arteta comparing us to them fucking mugs, you know, one won FA Cup in four seasons under Arteta. Is that what we're striving for, yeah? Is that the... Is that the aim? That just shows the standards in the bin. When would Roman come out, yeah? Would Roman come out and say, look at Arteta at Arsenal, you know? Great little model they're building over there. <laughs> Leave me alone, bruh. Fucking hell, it's embarrassing, man. Absolutely embarrassing. Tony Targa is going to take another mid-season finish before a lot of supporters wake up. Yeah. And then buying in, it's too late, Tony Tyler, bro, because they always have the model. It's going to be fully rolling. It's going to be in place. Yeah, it's, it's sad, man, but it's sad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not seen <him> again. <laughs> it's Scott Field scouting for us. <laughs> I had thoughts related, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell. We shouldn't joke about it though, guys. Come on, fucking hell. But it's true, bro. Oh. How is it scouting when you pay 40 mil for each player? Yeah, bro. You know. <laughs> Pretzel. Yeah, bro. <laughs> was he was he legend. Hey, bro. He is, bro. I'm sorry, man. He's came out and just fucking took a piss, bro. You know, he's accepted that. Don't be surprised if Lamps gets a fucking job in the back doors, bruv. With fucking Bowley and these lot. Fucking hell, man. Some sort of fucking role, bruv. Oh. Whatever you lot do in the chat, don't do a quiz with Chelsea Dan. He promises one thing that doesn't deliver like the ownership is eight stocks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alan landed the facts, bruv. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Land the minerals, bro. Come on, bruv. Big O, at least Chelsea Dan is honest. The owners are not. Got him in the fucking bin. Yeah. Nah, big up Chelsea Dan, bro. Big up Chelsea Dan. That's just Alan having a laugh there about the quiz and that. It's funny, bro. <laughs> big up Metal Face doing one FA Cup in four seasons would be overachieving considering our trajectory. Yeah. <laughs> it would be, bro. You know, what a joke, man. Seriously. Fucking hell, guys, man. What a joke, you know. Oh, Metal Face Doom is right, bruv. He'll be overachieving in his owner's eyes. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's an absolute shit show. What a circus act, man. Fucking hell, you know. What a joke. Let me bring up old Fabrizio and then what he said about Agati, bruv. Here we go. Manu Agati to PSG, here we go. The magic three fucking words. Understand the player is already in Paris, set for medical. He'll sign the contract today. PSG will pay 60 mil to Sporting. Chelsea left the race 12 hours ago and Agati will join PSG as Campos closed the negotiation. Agati plus Asensio. So there we have it, guys. There we have it, you know. 
I can't believe we fumbled this deal. And what's this about as well? Uh, Egg Barley, you know, he's putting in, um, they're investing in sport in Lisbon, you know? So he went over there. <laughs> Let me get this straight, yeah. You've gone over, on, over there, yeah, invested into their club, and you haven't even brought back the player you, you, you fucking were going in for. And that's the whole reason you went over there. Oh, what a shambles, man. What a shambles. Someone let me know in the chat. Is that, is that she, like, confirmed now? They actually invested into Sporting Lisbon? Because if they have, and we haven't had to go, eh, bruv? <laughs> That's beyond me, bruv. Seriously, man, these owners. Fucking hell. <laughs> They're just some real guys. They're just some real. Dumb and dumber, bruv. Yeah, thing one and thing two. This is what bowling egg barley are, bruv. You know, I just... <sighs> if you don't laugh, you'll cry, as we say, guys. You know, <laughs> it's just an absolute joke. Mickey Joy Boy says, if we carry on in our trajectory, we are relegation material this season coming. We are, bro. You can sign who you want, yeah, but if the structure ain't there and you've got owners going in the dressing room and doing all this stupid stuff, it doesn't matter who you sign. It doesn't matter what manager you got. You know? It all starts from the ownership, you know? There's no reason, there's a reason why City is so dominant. Yes, it's because of the money, but also the owners that came in and they put in a very good structure. That's who you should be aiming for. A City's, the way City have set up, they don't want to mention that because these owners are quite happy, guys, to sit in top four and get that Champions League money, bruv, yeah? Season in, season out, and maybe win an FA Cup or so along the way. You know? That's all they care about, bruv. Wouldn't surprise me. They've been fucked with every deal they make. Yeah, bro. Listen, don't be surprised, guys, if Casado costs us 100 million, you know? <laughs> we'll get absolutely fisted for that deal, bro. Absolutely fisted, bro. <laughs> Eddie sucks toes and Lego head merchant. That's the Tom and Jerry project. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's more of their brown envelope bullshit, just like last summer in the Broken owner sagas. Facts, bro. There's going to be another crazy window like that, bro. 100%. More of the brown envelope talk, this, that. Oh, it gets on my nerves, bro. You know? And people actually... People still believe these journos. I don't understand it, bro. The amount of times they fucked up. I, I think most journos, except for British, as I said, literally came out and said it's a done deal. So much for the done deal then, guys, isn't it? Done deal? <laughs> what a... Joke, parody act. Seeing that here we go for a guy is painful. Yeah, bruv. It's shocking, man. Seriously. I just can't believe this. <sighs> guys, where do we go? Let me know in the chat, guys, yeah? Since we can't get a guy, who's your next signing and why? And would you sign two midfielders or would you even sign three, bruv? For me now... It's got to be Casado and Rai, uh, Lavia. I would prefer Casado and Rice, but we all know this ownership ain't going to be able to get Casado and Rice. You know, you'd be dreaming if you think that. That's what I want. I'd like a Casado and a Rice, but the realistic is probably going to be Casado if we're lucky with a Lavia. Do you know what I mean? So, you know. Facts H, big up Mickey Joy Boy, bruv. They won't be getting top four, no chance. <laughs> if they don't get top four next season, boy, oh boy. <laughs> the rabbit hole gets even deeper, bruv, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. What an absolute joke. I just couldn't believe it, guys, honestly, you know? I was just sitting there watching telly and I switched on my phone and you just see Twitter blowing up. And I'm like, what's going on, bro? And the first thing I see is Chelsea pulled up the race for a guy and it's like, are you kidding me? You know, after seeing the wages and that, do you know what? The owners have got a little fucking brownie point there because everyone's going to start blaming that now. Yeah, they get away with one there. But let's wait. It's going to be a long window, people, and these owners are going to be... Getting caught red-handed a lot more times than this, bruv. Yeah? You wait, bruv. They're going to fumble more deals than this. I know it, bruv. And don't be surprised. I'm going to call this right now, bruv. We're going to spend most of the window trying to get Aussie men, yeah? 
end up not getting him. Yes, we've wasted all that time and they'll go and sign a, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who do we get a striker? You know, because even Vlaovic, he'll want a decent wage. I don't think these owners are even going to give good wages to the players they deserve it, guys. They're just penny-pinching. And that's why they're not going for Rice. Because it's going to cost too much money on the wages and stuff. Wake up, people. Come on. Why would you not want Rice? We need a DM. He's English. He's prem proven. You can't tell me Potts wouldn't want him. There's no excuses for it. Especially when you're getting rid of the likes of Mount. Kai, that's a hundred of million now already, bruv, yeah? You're not even, we aren't even touched on the Gallagher, love to cheat going. So many players, Ziyech, Pulisic, you know, Mendy. That's seven just there already off the top of my head. That's a load of money. So why can't we afford to have these players in higher wages? The reason why they want them on lower wages, yeah, is because they know... They're not here to win things. If they were here to win things or have them on big wages, get the players in that the gaffer wants because they know we'll end up winning trophies in the future and they'll still earn profit. But there we go, bruv. People don't see it like that. Fucking wish washy fucking made Lampard into a little pretzel. Fucking sent Harry Potter back to fucking Hogwarts, bruv. These fucking dickheads. And Tommy, the fucking dolt, the legend of our club, won the Champions League in four fucking odd months. They sack him as well. A guy you actually look to build a legacy on, a dynasty with. You've got a gaffer, yeah, who actually done the treble over Pep Guardiola during that season, yeah? Beat him three on the fucking bounce. And this is the fucking manager everyone's bowing down to. You know, it's been talked of. Well, he's in conversation, definitely, if he wins that Champions League for City, the treble. I've won the best managers of all time. And you sacked Tuchel. Well done, you Muppets. Well done, bruv. Kermit the Frog to Bowley, bruv. Fucking Kermit looking fuck. Both these two, bruv, I've said it before, they fucking brush their teeth with fucking whiskey, bruv. Yeah, they don't do no Colgate, bruv. Nothing. Cheapskates, bruv. Fucking cheapskates. <laughs> Next sign of Mickey Mouse and Mini. Yeah, bruv. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Actually, no, Alan, bruv, they wouldn't even go for them, bruv. They'll go for fucking Goofy, bruv. Because that's what these owners are, bruv. They're Goofy as fuck. <laughs> That's a no sign, bruv. If they fucking even tried to go down the Mickey fucking model, bruv, they wouldn't be able to sign Mickey Mouse, bruv. <laughs> Fuck you, know. Sign Paulino and Casado. Paulino's a good shout, Metal Face Doom. Yeah, he's a decent DM. Decent. But for me, I want Bryce and Casado, but as I said, it's not realistic, you know. It's probably even going to be Lavia and Casado. Or even Lavia on his own at this point. Or Paulino, as Metal Face Doom says, they're on his own. Because Casado is going to be a hard deal to get wrapped up, people. More clubs are going to be interested. It won't just be us. Chelsea Dan, smash the likes and sub. Big up Chelsea Dan there, bro. I hope you're doing all right, geez, yeah? Do what he says, people. Make sure you're smashing that like button, yeah? Come on and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be my fav my favourites to join. Fair enough, my face, doom. I hear that, bro. Paulina is a decent shout, bro, you know? He's a decent age. What's Paulina? Is he 26, 27? You know? But as we know, <laughs> you know, under 14's fucking policy around this, so you won't be getting Paulina. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I've got more chance of winning the lottery than us getting top four next season, and I don't do the lottery. <laughs> this is a thing. Fucking hell, man. It's bad, guys. It is bad. Jesus, man. <laughs> Jamar Jones, CDM, Casado, Kimmich, Rice, and Ali should be our fucking priority now for CDM. Exactly. If you've got a Kimmich, I've heard, you know, he, he's up for a new challenge. Why would you not want a fucking Kimmich at Chelsea? Please tell me why you wouldn't want him. You know, it's a joke. It's an absolute shit show from top to bottom, guys, man. They fumbled a signing before the windows even opened. <laughs> 
Fuck Hannah, we're finished, man. We're finished, bro. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, bro. Fuck's sake. Oh. Big up you one chills in the chat. Afternoon, fella. What are you making of this then? <laughs> I've just went for it, A1, bruv. You're a bit late to the party, bruv. But listen, big up A1 and Chelsea, bruv. Listen, everyone, make sure you go subscribe to his channel, bruv. It's there, you know what I mean? He's, he puts out some good content, bruv. Good geezer and that. So make sure you go do that for me, people, yeah? But yeah, A1, bruv, listen. <laughs> for me, right, I've said this with a guy. It's like, I understand the wage is mental. I understand that. But what I said, A1, it's like, if they're looking from 23 and under for DM... And then he's the best of the bunch. So you should be willing to pay 200 grand for him if you're going down that youngster route. Especially if you're getting rid of Havertz, Mount, all these players, Gallagher. If you get the car for your books, the car on 370 grand a week. It doesn't hurt spending 200 grand on a guy who's going to give you another four or five years of solid performances at DM. We all know DM's the priority. You know? And it's why, like I said, I want Chelsea earlier, because I know you just joined. Um, it's bad signs, because I don't think uh, these owners are going to get the players in that the manager wants. Because we all know that, listen, I'm not even going to start about the Mount thing, you know. Pe I know people hate Mount, people don't like him, you know. People do like him, you know. It's very here and there, bruv. But listen, we all know that Pochettino has stated that he wants this player to stay. Apparently, he's been battling for him. And then Mount's leaving. So, do we really believe these owners are letting him have his say? I'm not too sure yet. Time will tell. It's risky business these owners are doing. It is risky. Metal Face Doom, now we've got a Yid manager, but I still think he's the last chance for us to turn this shit show around. Yeah, it is, bruv. Listen, oh, it's going to be... It could be a very long siege if they don't address what we need to address in this window, you know? And I'm worried about Casado, deal, guys. Like I said, I'm really worried about Casado. If they fumble that as well, oh my god. These lot, bruv. We are gonna be like fucking a donut, bruv. Dunkin' donut settings, bruv. What does a donut not have, bruv? Someone tell me in the chat. Come on. Nothing in the middle. We're gonna have nothing in that midfield, bruv. It's gonna be Enzo and some young CDM like Lavia, yeah, on their own. We won't have a midfield revamp. They're gonna sell Kante. You know, it's shocking decisions they're making. You know, like I said, bruv, the only keys these owners have gave to Potcher, they gave him the keys for a Nissan Micra when he should be getting a Lamborghini Urus, bruv. Now the keys he should be getting. It's disgusting, you know. I'm actually beginning to feel sorry for Poch. No, uh, more chance of Biden going a week without fall <laughs> falling over and us winning a trophy next season. <laughs> Fuck's sake. We used to shop at Harrods. These owners are fucking a little. <laughs> yeah, bro. They've gutted us proper, man. You know, they just have, you know. It's no coincidence, guys. Since Roman's left, we've been an absolute mess, you know. And I've gave them the benefit of the doubt this season. I have. Because you know what? It's the first season they're running the football club. So maybe it's a learning club. You know, a learning club, sorry. So it will, so it's going to speak volumes next season, you know. If, oh, it can't be a season like this again, guys. It just can't. It just can't, bruv. <laughs> I'm coming down the old Kent Road, A1 Chelsea. A1 Chelsea KK is on a shit ton, but we won't pay up for a guard, a mental behaviour. This is the thing. Kula Barley's on, and Sterling, they're on this sort of money, so why the hell are you not going to give someone who's a young CDM who's going to be quality for us for many of seasons. Give us some sort of stability in our midfield. People tell me it's mental. I understand it's mental, but this is the way the market's going, guys. In three years, this will look like a cheap deal. That's just how it's going, you know. It sounds crazy now, but it is how it, it is what it is, as I say, you know. As A1 says there, bruv. Big up to A1. KK's on what, 260 a week? And they're looking to sell this guy already. If that doesn't show you what a shambles these owners are, you know, I don't know what to tell you. You know? <sighs> I 
listen, this is what I said. Don't be surprised, guys, if Potts leaves after a season. Because Potts don't strike me as an idiot. He don't strike me as a coward, bruv. Yes, he might have got tried along a little bit by Levy at Tottenham. But I think he's learned now from his time at PSG. He's, he's got some experience under his belt, you know? Mickey Joy says, facts hates no Lamborghini in the garage. It's a brilliant Robin. <laughs> for God's sake, man. Oh, I'm honestly starting to not care for this club anymore. Do you know what I mean? This is what these owners are doing, man. They're just ripping your your hope for, for a Chelsea fan, you know, to believe we can go and win big trophies again. It's just, as we said, bro, if you be, yeah, you might have more chance of winning in a lottery than seeing these owners win a Champions League or Premier League, you know. Need a Potts interview ASAP. All the Potts wants is Potts wants. Once that is, it's getting on my tits, mate. Yeah. It's just Potts wants this, Potts wants that. Potts doesn't want this, you know. They're having a field day with it, you know. We're never going to know the truth of these journalists, you know. Obviously, some of the things these journalists come up with are true, some of the things, but they come up with so many lies. Like, how many journalists said a guy was a done deal, people? Come on, so many of them said it, you know. And then for them to just flip-flop, like 40 minutes later and be like, oh no, Chelsea pulled out the race. PSG have now got him. It's like your stance can't change that quick, you know, if you really know what you're talking about, you know. I want to hear it from the geezer himself, you know. Yeah, yeah, bro. I want, I want to see some interviews of Potch. You know, get him out there. Let him, let him have his say to the Chelsea fans because we want to hear, bro. We want to hear what he has to say for this, bro, you know. <laughs> and Uncle Al put Wiss in the boot. <laughs> Stop. Mickey Joy, boy, bro. <laughs> so, in my terms of chat, the plan is give prison sentences contracts of 30 to 90k a week wages. We are fucked. It's not looking good, bruv. Burley moving like a Boise. I'm going to deal with some forces, bruv. Come on. <laughs> You're banging on, oh, he isn't the title bloke to hold his tongue. Potch will speak up. This is what I'm saying. Surely Potch... Oh, I just don't know anymore, man. You know, they manipulated Lampard. These are club legends, so surely they're going to be able to do it to Potch. But Potch don't strike me as an idiot like Lampard, bruv. You know, as I said, Lampard's been twisted like a pretzel, bruv. You know? I'm hoping it can change, guys. I really am, you know. I really am. You know, two videos or so ago on live streams, you've seen me, guys. You know, I've said, like, I'm hoping next season's going to be good. I'm excited, you know, and Kunku coming in, these sort of things. But I said it's crucial for them this season. They've got a, in the window, they cannot, they cannot afford, they've got a margin for no errors, you know. You'll get the positions that need, in. we need them. You need the DM, you need a goal scorer, you need a goalkeeper. You need another leader in there as well. That's why I think Rice would be such a good signing for us, you know. It's, a, it's all about the moron is good for his sweeping the stadium up after the games. All this moron is good enough, yeah. <laughs> sweeping up the stadium, yeah, bruv, he is. <laughs> Boise, yeah. <laughs> Alan Gum, that was a Grax in the chat, bruv. <laughs> Barley with his man bags. They on Chelsea. We have players on six to seven to eight to eight to nine year deals and wonder why there's no desire to leave. They're fucking set. They don't care about game time and performances. This is what's worrying as well. Like these prison sentences, like you mentioned, anyone, you know, like eight year deals. Apparently, was that what it was, guys? Remind me if I'm wrong. I'm sure it was eight year deal we're offering a guy, wasn't it? Eight years? That is mental. Because what I've always said, anyone, yeah, in the chat, what happens if. A youngster sort of says, actually, I'm going to sit on my contract for a bit, you know? Doesn't mean they're going to run it down completely, but they, you know, you might have got one of these cocky youngsters who are like, no, I'm going to run down my contract. Why should I leave, you know? But the reason they're doing this is because, as you said, seven, eight, nine year deals, they won, yeah? The reason why they're doing this is so they can sell him on for a bigger budget. When, when Enzo gets older and he's got, what, four years left on his deal, yeah? Real Madrid or Barcelona, someone like that who won him will have to come in with a hundred, hundred twenty pound, like a million bid. Do you know what I mean? So they're earning profit on these players. That's the reason why they're doing it. It's shocking and it's so worrying what they're doing. You know, it's worrying. Mickey Joy boy, if you guys didn't make me laugh, I'd be in tears. What they've done to our magnificent club, yeah, bro. You can only laugh, bruv. Do you know what I mean? As I say, if you don't laugh, you'll be in tears, bruv. You know? 
Shocking what they've done to us. Absolutely shocking. You know? I have no words for it, bruv. Well, listen, guys, anyway. That's an hour I've just done there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the show and that. Obviously, big up everyone for coming in here, supporting, you know, getting in the chat, giving me your thoughts. I appreciate all of you, you know what I mean? Make sure you hit that like button, as always, people, yeah. And if you haven't already, subscribe. You know, obviously, we just hit the 100 subs. So, big up to all of you supporting the channel, do you know what I mean? Um, you know, when I first started this, I thought I'd be lucky to get 10 subs. So honestly, I only came on here to sort of have my stamp, do you know what I mean, on things, have my say, because you get so twisted up, you know, the steam in your head after this season, bruv, you know, I was just getting so annoyed. I just needed somewhere to just go in, bruv, and just land what I think about Chelsea, you know, whether people like it or not. I'm all here for people having uh, different opinions, you know. I'm all here for that, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to let people change what I actually think and I'm not going to follow crowds, you know, and just follow what other people say because... You've got your own voices, people. So if people don't agree with your opinion, then you can tell them to jug on, bruv. Because at the end of the day, every football fan's allowed their opinion. Whether it's wrong or not, you can argue with it and say maybe, you know, I don't think that because of this, this, this and this, you know. But yeah, listen, just have your own voices, guys. That's what I'm trying to put out there, bruv. Listen, don't follow the crowds and what they think, you know. You're allowed to have your own voice. That's what being a football fan's all about, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, big up the chat as always, bruv. I'll see you all in there, yeah. Big up to everyone who subscribed, bruv. 102 subs, bruv. Do you know what I mean? As Alan said there, big up to all of you who subscribe. I appreciate it. And anyway, guys, yeah, we're out, man. Do you know what I mean? I think it was a good show. Let's hope you enjoyed it. Up the Chelsea, we're out, people. Big up. <laughs>